It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and I'm here today to bring you guys a sweet new world domination video. We're going to be chilling with the survivors today. And what I wanted to do is kind of focus on myself pushing to the Silver League in PvP. Now, I have done this before in the past where I was attempting to get to Silver League. I had a little bit of a mini series going over, I don't even remember when, maybe Christmas break, I'm not really sure. But I decided to bring it back and see what we can do. See if we can make our way to the Silver League in PvP. We'll find out. But we're looking at this right now i'm in 23rd place you have tiff tiff up at 20th place she is in world domination expert as well if you've not checked that out go stop on by we got some great videos on there but anyway silver league i gotta get to 1500 pvp points you could say i'm at 1408 and it's time to make some of those back so let's go ahead and check out the revenge benny took 16 points for me that's a lot that's too many for me i want those back so hopefully i can maybe pull those back so we're gonna go ahead and revenge him and see if we can cause some problems for him Let's see what we can borrow here. I'm gonna borrow the dead shot just because that level 23 dead shot causes so many problems for people. So we're going to see what we got. Level 30, so that's pretty good. He's got some pretty nasty zombies on the other side over there that they could cause me hold. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, let's see. We got two spawn points. It looks like, and we're gonna have some harbingers. We got spitters. We got infectors roots morticians and i think we're gonna run the dr zombowitz around here somewhere let me see what i want to do here you know what let's go ahead and throw down this back we're gonna put a dead shot there a dead shot there machine gunner and just in case some people try to get close i'm gonna put two one sharpshooter let's put a scatter shot down there <clears throat> hopefully those guys are still in range i hope because what I'm going to be trying to do, I'm going to have these dead shots trying to pick off. I have one on each side, basically, so I can hopefully pick off some of those harbingers. As you'll see in the moment, the dog is barking. What is going on? I don't know. So let me go ahead and throw down the rest of these. I'm going to throw down all my dead shots and my sharpshooter over in this corner right here. And on the other side, I'm going to be putting three, four scatter shots. And let's put down another dead shot. Now, here's what I'm going to be doing. I got a lot of dead shots going here to kind of pick off some of those mutated zombies. So if those harbingers would kind of run out and try to take down my scatter shot, my, my machine gunner over here, I have to have two dead shots. Hopefully that can pick them off pretty easily. Let's go ahead and start these raids. Now over here, I have an interesting setup, but I kind of have, I'm kind of liking it because I have a good crossfire going. I still saved a cut pull of the units just in case we run into some problems. But as you can see, dead shot was able to pick off that harbinger right out of the gate. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Let's see if we're having just as good a success over here. Let me go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Stimsy, just in case we need it. You know, I'm going to go ahead and use it on these guys over here. Give them a little bit extra power boost. We're going to take out that brute. They're getting a little close, but we managed to take them out. Those dead shots were coming in the clutch. Dead shot picked off that. Oh, delivery man got picked off. Perfect. This is doing really well, guys. I'm like, this is kind of fun little, ooh, save the day, mer machine gunners or mercenaries. Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still a little out of it. Ah, there we go. All right, we are picking people off left and right. I love it. There we go. So we got 183 points plus our time bonus, which is going to put us at plus 60. I love it. 243. Sweet. So we cleared it. We won. How many points we get back? We got 12 points back. I'll take it. And we're up at 22nd place right now. Let's just keep pushing and see how high we can get. PvP, PvP Arena, fight. You know, let's go. Let's revenge some more people. Let's keep. Let's just go down the list. And I'm gonna borrow that command. I'll take that. And we're off. Hopefully this guy's not too crazy. 29. Okay, I think we can handle that. Not too much of a problem here. So we got Doctor Zombies. We got some Titans. We got some. We got some assassins. Oh, this is very, very, very close to our waypoint. You could say. All right. So I'm gonna have one dead shot back here. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and put, move that out a little bit. Let me go throw throw a machine gunner back there. Two commandos put another one back there and then two scatter shots and that's going to kind of top off that area right there uh yeah no we're going to put the structure right there because this is very 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 close to the objective and i don't want them risking losing that now over here it's gonna be a little bit of a different story i'm gonna have a dead shot back here with two snipers and we're going to have our machine gunner back here. Now, it's behind. It's not right on the wall because I want it just in case that harbinger does catch that wall and takes out my people. I don't want to risk 
my machine gunner going down. So I'm going to throw down three more scatter shots. And those guys are pretty much to cover the drones on the wall. Give me as much time as possible. I can get that machine gunner going. Wipe out everybody. And I got snipers in the back just in case we run into any brutes and things like that. Let's go ahead and start the wave and see what we got. So those uh, assassins are going to be able to get pretty close because they're not going to be able to get seen by my guys. However, I think with the scatter shots and the spray damage, not going to be worrying about them too much. Now, here's the real action. We got Dr. Zombowitz just taking damage. He is not going down. We got a Titan as well. Let me go ahead and stem up my machine gunner. And hopefully, we can cause a few more problems for these guys and take them down. So, we managed to take them both down right in the last minute. That was pretty clutch, I must say. All right. So, we're going to have some assassins. We got some harbingers coming in here. All right. So, harbingers going to be coming in. Hopefully, we can pick them off really quick before he gets to the wall. Ah, uh, he barely caught the wall, but it's okay because I don't think we're going to be running anymore. Not too worried about that. Dog is still barking. I can't help you. Sorry, guys. Can't deal with that. Just got to let him do his thing. We have one more wave about to come in. We're going to have some infectors and some titans. I don't... I'm not too worried about this, guys, because I got my snipers in the back that I can take and cause damage to those titans. I'm going to stim up my guys right here and give him a little bit of a power boost if I can let me stim them. Come on. Boom. Snipers picked off that titan. Last couple drones about to go down. Let me pick off that infector, please. Come on. There we go. So we picked off that last infector, and that's going to call today. So 217 trophies plus a 60 time bonus. And what are we going to get? What is our prize? That puts us at plus 14. I'll take that and run with it. I love that every day. All right. So PvP, where do we stand now? I think we're in about 21st place. PvP, we are just shy of Tiff Tiff here. We're at... 1436 now that is just two away so i think one more and we're gonna be put up quite a bit let's go ahead and revenge another one let's just keep going down the list i'm just gonna keep attacking as long as this ipad has enough space on it so that could be like 10 more minutes we're just gonna push as far as we can so because i want to see how far if we can i don't think we're gonna be able to get to silver league in this episode but i'm gonna sure try my best all right, so looks like we're going to have three spawn points, two objectives fairly close together. This one's pretty secluded back here. So that one's going to be fairly easy to defend, not too difficult. Now, this is a very interesting little spawn here. Now, right here, these guys are pretty close range. Now, we do have some of those spitters, and that can cause them some problems. However, I'm not too worried. I'm going to go ahead and throw a machine gunner back here. Let me throw in my dead shot pretty close behind. Now, I'm going to throw my close range guys over here. Let me go ahead and put three scatter shots and i did borrow some firefighters i don't think i'm going to use them in this raid just because mm, i don't think i'm going to be needing them over here we're going to have some runners that's going to cause a different little dynamic here let me go ahead and throw a machine gunner down and a dead shot to kind of hold on the back here move these guys somewhat into close position kind of as a little bit of a barrier here i'm going to have two machine gunners on each side and a commando and I think that should delay it just enough to let that machine get warmed up. And that will be covering that pad pretty well. Now over here, uh, same feelings just because I want to get that guy's going. Hmm. I'll explain in a moment. Uh, let's throw this guy up here. Throw down my machine gunner, which I don't have. Okay. Hopefully we can draw them close enough. Then we won't have to worry about that too much. Destructor. Let's go ahead and throw down two scatter shots. People are moving. Got to go into overdrive here, guys. Uh, let's throw in two snipers and final machine gunner to hold that spot. And we ended up using all our troops here. Now my hoping that these guys are not going to be turn, turn, taking that left corner. Hopefully they just keep on powering through. Come on, keep walking. Perfect. If I can just get them going over towards those guys, we'll be fine. But they turned the corner. What are y'all doing? Come on, man. Oi, I don't like that. Firefighters, save the day. Come on. Okay, Destructor was able to pick off a couple of those guys, and I'm hoping those fire chiefs, fire fighters, are going to be able to pick off those guys for me. So right now, nobody's coming from that pad over there, but we do have a people coming from either of these. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. Now this one's doing very well. Those machine gunners are in or scatter shots. I can't remember what I put down there, but they're holding down those drones pretty well. I'll go ahead and stim them up, which I didn't even need to because they're done. But let's go ahead and move this back here, S flare them away. Hopefully we can get the machine gunner to take them out. I'm going to go ahead and send this wave, but I'm going to let that other one burn out just really quick so I can take out the remainder of these drones. All right. Barely picked them off. Let me go ahead and throw these guys back here now. Relocate so they're not being seen by those guys turning the corner. Now, we should be able to cover that pad very well because I have that very, very well defended. Let me go ahead and stim these guys up. Hopefully we can pick off some of these guys. Firefighters about to get some serious problems here. 
Let me go ahead and use my Molotov cocktail on these guys right here if it can let me. Come on. Didn't even really need to. But we covered that 214 trophies plus our time bonus, which is going to put us up at plus 60, 274. I love it. So we cleared it. Ended up making it. That was a pretty interesting little attack there. I thought it was pretty interesting. Those firefighters ended up saving the day right there because the machine gunner and dead shot were not very well defended. We only got plus five that time. Not as much as we'd hope for, but it's all right. I'll run with it. So PVP, let's go with another one. Fight. Looks like some of my guys are burned out. Let me go ahead and recharge them though. Because I like this team. 47 coins. Jeez, they're robbing me. Uh, let's, okay, let's go uh, consume some of these units here because we don't need all of them. All right, let's just go ahead and disband all these guys. And I'm going to get rid of my personal trainers because I'm not as big as a fan of, the, with, of these guys. And let's get rid of one outlaw. Actually, one lumberjack. We have plenty of those. Get a little extra room there, but let's go ahead and get another attack in. Revenge. Only level 27. Hmm. You know, that'll work. After this one, we're going to go back to the big leagues here. And we're going to go to see what we get matched up against in the PvP arena. Can I borrow anything better? You know, I'll roll with it. So let's go ahead and accept that and fight. And we're off to the races here. We're going to be up against level tw 27. What just fell? Level 27, Peter here. Interesting little thing right there. All right, I'm kind of liking these layouts here. The time bonus won't be as good if I was to let them come out there. So I'm going to try to get a better time bonus here. Risk a little of my coins or survivors or whatever. But I think it may be worth it in the long run if it pays off. So, all right. I need these guys out. All right, that's perfect. So what I got there, I'll explain that. So right here I have Destructor and my two scatter steps out front. I got a dead shot coming up in the back here. And if I can get those guys delayed just enough, the machine will be able to handle all those guys perfectly. And we're not going to have any problems there at all. And we're going to be set. So let me go ahead and throw these guys out here. Throw down my other machine gunner. Three scatter shots. And get a dead shot so we can hopefully pick off that spitter. Things like that. Let's start these waves off to the races. We're going to have a lot of brutes coming in here. That machine is going to get warmed up though. We shouldn't have any problems at all. These guys are easy. It's child's play. We should be able to finish this off fairly quickly. Let me go ahead and send these waves here. We are going to be doing some rapid fire gameplay here. I'm going to stem up my guys here, give them a little bit of extra juice so we can handle that, give my machine gunner some time. Let me go ahead and delay them with a the flare. And we are cruising. Let me go ahead and send these waves. We're on the final wave here. We're getting, we're going to get a very nice time bonus if we can get through this a little bit sooner. Final wave coming in over here. Looks like we're done on this side over here. Let's go ahead and zoom in, get a little extra better look here. So that puddler was taken out fairly easy. 228 trophies. Plus our time bonus, which is going to be about 60. And that's going to push it at 288 out of a 150. We clearly won that. Got 11. And what place are we in? We are at level 16. 16th place. So PvP. Now we're going to go into the arena normally. See who we get paired up against. Let's go ahead and fight there. It's going to go with that survivor unit I'm borrowing. Level 28 Behemoth from The Walking Dead. So looking at his team, he's got some pretty powerful spitters there. He's got a very interesting team layout, but I'm feeling pretty confident about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw four fire chiefs there, put them up here, and I'm going to use them as sort of a f unit to kind of take damage for me. Machine gunners and snipers in the back here. Now, those guys are pretty much going to be able to pick off some of those titans and things like that. Destructors up there and those fire chiefs, those guys are just to, to take damage for me, give my machine gunner plenty of time to warm up, and we'll be set there. Over here, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to have a dead shot and machine gunner, and I'm going to put the rest of these guys as scatter shots to just take cause problems for those drones. Don't let them get through that wall. Let's go ahead and start the waves. Now, I need to work on upgrading my contractor because I want to have it so he can start upgrading my walls and things like that. That's something for the future, however. But looks like we're doing fairly well. These guys, I think it's going to be pretty handled because that machine gunner is going to cause problems for Dr. Zombowitz. Let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit. Stim them up. So as you can see right there, he is just, we got, looks like we got a glitch here. Dr. Zombo is just going to take, take damage, I guess. So I'm going to actually have to use this. Okay. Flare away. Stim. Recoup. Recuperate. Oh, looks like we lost that one. Come on. Ah, this is not looking good, guys. Ove, ove. Okay. Looks like we barely may pull this out. So... We had a weird glitch with Shock Zombo. He was actually taking out that wall, I believe, and it ended up just being a 
problem for us. Let's go ahead and stem that up. So it looks like they managed to get out. Come on. Can we take out the Titan here? Stim him up. Flare him away. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't think we're going to cause any problems for this guy. And they may end up getting pretty darn close to taking. Uh, let's see what we can do here. There we go. So hopefully with the time bonus, we'll be able to get to 150. We got a 30 time bonus. That puts us just over the victory marker. And we ended up clutching it out. We are 15 minutes on this video. Goodness gracious. We are just going. Hey, nothing stopped me. I still got plenty of juice here. Let's keep going. PvP. Fight. Fight. See who we're going to get matched up. Level 29. Bofo Jones. Hopefully we'll get a good map here. Get a good pick. Hmm. Interesting straight away there. So it looks like both of our objectives are fairly close to each other. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be... Hmm. All right. So... Right here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Destructor up close here. And the rest is going to be scatter shots. Now, what I'm going to be aiming for here is Destructor hopefully take that damage from those assassins. And just let those scatter shots just finish the work. Okay, this is going to have to be a last attack here. We're running low on storage here. So I'm just going to kind of fill in randomly. Just trying to hopefully I can get the best result here. And let's move these guys out there. Move them there. Move that there, there. Got a lot of commandos here. So hopefully that'll be able to get the job done. We got to speed through this because I don't want to lose the recording because that would stink. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Come on, guys. Come on. So Assassin just ran in there. He went in blind and just ended up losing epically. So we're going to be getting two Assassins over here. I'm going to stim these guys up so they can get a little extra juice. Take out these guys without a problem. These scatter shots and commandos are just going to town. Let me go ahead and use a flare to kind of draw away. There's nothing, nothing to draw away. <clears throat> Drones are going down left and right. Here we go. <clears throat> but it looks like we're going to be able to do pretty well. Hopefully we can get the machine gun to warm up here. Finish off the remainder of these guys. And we are just going to call it a day. We got 219 plus our time bonus. Which I feel it's going to be 60. And it is. That puts us at 279. 100 out of 150. We clearly win that one. Plus 10 on the PvP points. And we are just getting to the set place we want to be at. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and actually make this a two-part two -part little video mini-series here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to attempt to get to the Silver League in the next episode, guys. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this extra long video because it was pretty fun to make it. Oh, but yeah, see you guys in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, like it. If you want to comment, love, I love seeing your comments, guys. I always like responding. So go ahead and throw those, throw those down there if you wanted to. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks a lot, guys. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.